What if there was a way to transform math into an enjoyable process with one simple principle? I'll reveal the principle in a moment, but first, let me tell you about some powerful research into the human mind. Back in the 1970s, two researchers named Matlin and Stang found something interesting. They found that people place greater importance on the positive, and we are much more likely to remember pleasant and positive memories. This phenomenon brings us to our next mental model in math called the Pollyanna Principle. The name comes from a 1913 novel called Pollyanna. In the novel, there's a girl named Pollyanna who plays something called the Glad Game. In every situation, no matter how bad or sad things get, Pollyanna tried to find at least one good thing. She's so good at this game that she ends up getting her whole town to play along. And in the process, she makes a significant positive impact on the people of her town. From this novel, we learn an important secret about shaping our math careers. Remember, we all have two drivers in life. We either want to move away from pain or we want to move towards pleasure. The Pollyanna principle goes after the latter, moving towards pleasure. According to the Pollyanna principle, the brain processes information that is pleasing and agreeable in a more precise and exact manner as compared to unpleasant information. So what does this mean? The Pollyanna effect moves you toward the optimistic things you look to in life. It does this by using positive words and positive associations. Consider this. What sounds more exciting? Eating a piece of plain broccoli or eating a piece of broccoli covered in chocolate? This is the power of using the Pollyanna principle. We do this through the power of words. You see, each word you ever use in life carries one of three weights. Positive, like the word awesome. Neutral, like the word the, or negative, like the word sucks. So how do we use the Pollyanna principle for math? When referring to your math homework, ask yourself this. Can you reframe your neutral and negative words to positive words? For example, instead of this homework is impossible, try this. Homework is an exciting challenge. Instead of algebra sucks, try this. Algebra makes me smarter and faster at problem solving. Instead of, math gives me anxiety. Try this. If I can figure out math, I can be great at any subject. As you change your words, you change your reality with the Pollyanna effect. Math becomes a pleasure to figure out and conquer instead of a stressful burden on your life. All of this comes from the power of words. Oh, 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 oh,